Hey guys, this is X666X Iron Maiden, and today we're going to be checking out Iron Maiden, Children of the Damned from their Book of Souls live chapter. Alrighty guys, finally we're going to be doing some Iron Maiden on the channel, one of my favorite bands, and uh, it's, hard, it's hard to do them on the channel because uh, if... As I saw today for the first time, someone was, uh, excuse me, was asking for me to do um, Hallowed Be Thy Name. Well, I've seen every live version and the studio version all now, so it's one of those bands that's hard to pick. But, but, the Book of Souls live chapter just got released uh, this past month, and the videos are all on YouTube, so I finally have some new live material to check out. Um, to see how uh, how the guys have been doing uh, since their last DVD and since I've seen them live because it's been a while now since I've seen them uh, whew, five years I think uh, yeah I think it's been about five years now since my uh, one time checking them out and we're going to be doing one of my favorite songs by Iron Maiden Children of the Damned uh, it's probably probably my favorite favorite song off that album it's gotta be I, I've, uh, you know I know the band so well and yet I still have to look up albums uh, uh, whenever I'm looking at the songs because they have, they have so many great songs don't they I mean uh, but I think I would I think I would choose it to be like if I'm comparing it the only other one that uh, now that I see the other one. Maybe 22 Acacia Avenue it would be my favorite. And I know How Be That Name's on there, Run to the Hill's on there, Number of the Beast is on there, The Prisoner's on there. Those are all top tier songs. I'm not saying they're not good. I'm just saying that uh, after... Uh, excuse me again, guys. It's super late for once when I'm doing these because uh, of how busy I've been. Um, uh, once I got, once you listen to them for a long time, you uh, you have a tendency to find that uh, their singles and their biggest hits that are great songs. You uh, find a lot of people that really get in Iron Maiden are like, oh, they find these other songs on the album that are actually really, really good, and in my opinion, better um, for their own reasons. And uh, it's just uh, a whole thing of just really getting into the band, checking out more, and you can really find. Uh, some really sweet tracks that don't always get mentioned with those top hit ones. So I'm rambling because, like I said, it's my favorite band. I can ramble on about it forever and ever. Um, so I'm just going to shut up and press play. No, this is in Montreal, so he's talking French. Fuck, this is a good song. Every time I hear it, I get pumped up. Watch his eyes And he still got it. Children 
Oh man. <laughs> Fucking Steve should still rip that base. It'd be so fun to sing live. guys that was children of the damned um so a few comments first of all obviously they're getting old you have to take it into account for instance when you listen i i i say he still has it bruce for his vocals only because he's made the choice to change his delivery of the uh, uh, of his verses his chord, like just the way he sings in general he switched it up a bit for his age so he can still hit the notes he has to sing the songs a little bit differently on some of these because of that and you can hear it when he's singing it if you compare it to uh, I don't know if you go listen to uh, back to just Rock and Rio going back to the early 2000s uh, one of my opinion was one of his peaks for me personally um, and listen to just his voice there and here you'll you'll hear that difference and you'll understand what I'm talking about um, but you get older and you can't you can't always keep that same voice when you're pulling music off like that uh, you're gonna have to switch it up just like Judas Priest had to do with Rob Halford he has a different way of uh, using his voice now so that he can still hit the notes but he has to switch up the way he sings them a bit um, and they're not, you can see they're get the guys are getting old. Okay? I mean, if I go right, I'm just going to, I'll go look right now, and I can guarantee you that uh, most of the band at this point is probably in their, I'm going to say they're in their 60s at this point. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. <laughs> um, band members, uh, let's just see, let's just open up some pages here. Uh, I do believe one of them is almost 70, but I, again, that's just me trying to remember. Uh, he's Steve, Steve on bass, 61. Next up, Dave Murray, 60. Adrian Smith is 60. Bruce, 59, so he's, he hasn't hit 60 yet at least. Almost. Nico on the drums, 65 years old. Still destroying that drum kit. As you just saw, and Yannick is 60 as well. So they're pretty much they just just hit 60. We're starting to push it at 60 here. The touring and they when they go on tour, they tour the whole planet, and they're still performing to this caliber, which is quite amazing. Um, I obviously take things serious when it comes to 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 their music, to be able to still be performing to the level that they do, and even more places now that Bruce is flying the plane. To read them with their own private plane that brings all the equipment and everything they can get to more places and it's super cool uh, to see that and uh, it'd be cool to check out I'm gonna check out some more from this concert on my whether whether you guys request it or not we're gonna be seeing some more from this concert because I'd like to see some of the new songs as well maybe some other of the old songs so hopefully you guys enjoyed that I know I did obviously it got me singing on this one so <laughs> I, mean, I was into it um, 
If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already to catch more from me. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later.